Okay, now we're in Nitro Unit 6, which is all about arrays. So we're going to talk a little bit about the basics of arrays. Um, they want us to create three arrays. First of all, a string array. So string, bracket, bracket. And I'm going to call this cities. And then braces, braces, because we're going to fill it with actual values. Um, three strings enclosed in quotes. Las Vegas, uh, Minsk, and Sao Paulo. Then similarly, we're going to have an array of integers. So int bracket bracket. We'll call this temp and then brace brace for our temperatures 104, 73, 80. And then an array of doubles. So double bracket bracket. And this is going to be for rain. And that's going to be three values also. And then they want to, they want us to print this out. Something like this. So system.out.println Las Vegas, which is cities subscript zero or cities at index zero and then a plus sign and in quotes space has an average annual precipitation of space quotes and then rain subscript zero and then a spa uh, uh, quote space inches something like that Let's just make sure that's running OK. OK, so now we just need a whole bunch more print statements. So we also want to say cities subscript 0 or cities at index 0 has an average annual, not precipitation, but now high temp of and let's do now temp of index 0 and not inches, but degrees Fahrenheit. And then I believe we want to do all of that again and all of that again. We want to do it for city at index 1, which will be Minsk. And then we need rain at subscript 1 and temperature at subscript 1. Then we want to do the same thing again for cities at index 2. Sorry, I'm using the words index and subscript interchangeably. And this should print out everything that they want us to print out. Okay, I think that's all we need for that. The only thing I wanted to point out, this is a bit of a preview of coming attractions because we're going to see this um, shortly, like in the next lesson. Sorry, let me just fix this indentation. So we could very easily do a for loop. Instead of writing six lines of code, we could say something like this. For int i equals 0, and i less than 3, and i plus plus, we could do these same two lines. But instead of printing out at index 0, we could print out at index i. 
So the first time through the loop, it will print at index zero, but then the next time through the loop, it'll print at index one. Next time through the loop, it'll print at index two. And this should accomplish the same thing. <clears throat> so even if we did not have all this up here, this code in the loop, and again, we'll get to that in 6.2 some more, but that's a much quicker, more efficient way of doing that. Anyways, that's still going to check out all correct. So then 6.2. They want us to create an array of integers. So integer bracket bracket. Um, we're going to call it scores and braces braces and the scores, these integers separated by commas. And then they want us to print. So I'm going to get us used to this um, print for i equals zero i less than 5 and i plus plus we're going to do system dot out dot print line scores at index i so that if we run it should get our first set of scores oh i did not declare integer let's try this again okay and then they want us to change a couple of the scores. So the third score changed to 72. The third score, the reason why they're doing this is to get us used to the indexes. The third score is at index two, because the third score we have index zero, index one, index two. So the third score is at index two. The last score, since there's five items in the list, the last score is at index 4. They wanted us to change that one to 95 and then reprint all the scores. So this should print the scores twice, once with the original numbers once with the new values, 95, 72, 95. So that looks okay there. That was pretty quick. This, this unit in general, I think you'll find goes pretty quickly. And then this one wants us to print out the last item of an array. So we have a static method called get last element. And what we want to return, we want to return the array that they are giving us. They're passing us a string array that we're going to call ARR for the purposes of this method. We want the array at the last index. The last index is always going to be the array dot length minus one. So this array has four items in it. Those four items are indexed 0, 1, 2, and 3. So the last item is item 3, which is the length of the array 4 minus 1. So I think this is all we want to do here. Return the item from this array at this index array.length minus one. And then up here, system.out.println some pretty stuff. And then this method here, get last element of ARR, which is this array that we just created right there. So this should run correctly, and then we'll clean up a little bit what's in quotes there. All right, so instead of saying some pretty stuff, 
let's say in here, what they wanted us to say right here. Bam and bam. So now if we run that code, the last element of the string array is Carol. And what's beautiful about this is if we add a new string at the end, it'll now tell us that that one's the last one. The last element of the string array is code HS. So that's the power of just looking at the length of the array minus one, is that no matter what happens to the array, the array, or I should say, no matter how the array is defined, we look at the length of the array minus one, and that'll always give us the last item of the array. So I think this is ready to check out. Okay. And then on to 6.1.9. Snap, shot, splash, screen. All right, so we're gonna have a string array, so string bracket bracket. I'm going to call this splash, and it's going to consist of the following four elements, or the following four strings. It's going to consist of the word welcome, it's going to have the word to, it's going to have the phrase the snap shot, and it's going to have the word app with an exclamation mark. And so we can say system.out.println splash at index zero. And then splash at index one, splash at index two, and splash at index three. So this should look like the first part of our printout that they're requiring. Okay, then we're going to do a blank line. Okay, and then we're going to change a couple of those entries in the array, and then we're going to print out 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, and 3 again. So we want splash item 1 to be something else. And, or is it item zero? Uh, item zero. So at index zero in the array, instead of the word welcome, which it originally had, we want it to be the word upgrade. And then at index three, the last thing in the array, instead of the word app, we want it to be premium app. So we're changing two of the numbers or two of the strings in the array, and then we're reprinting out each item of the array on a separate line. And hopefully that looks like what we were supposed to make it look like there. I think this is okay. Okay, so now we're on to 6.2, which is more about using loops to traverse an array.